All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, or Hakwadash, the ones to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Citation to all the Akim, pushing his word with truth and sincerity and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word can be called God and Jehovah. Ba'ashem is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, who the word can be called Jesus. <clears throat> or Hakwadash is the Holy Spirit. As always, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures. Uh, I'm your diary from the Great Millstone Branch out here in Chicago, and I'm back at you with another quick lesson. And today's lesson is going to basically be on, uh, it's going to be inspired by the current events, of course. And uh, currently what you have going on is the spread of the coronavirus, which is leading it to a, a, a bunch of other prophecies. You know, one of those things being martial law, what they're trying to disguise as like quarantining forced quarantines and uh also the market of beasts you know which they're trying to uh basically put that as the vaccine you know but nevertheless you know with all this going down you know it, it's america it seems as if this world is uh being manifested uh as it's going down but nevertheless you know you got a lot of people saying it's not and that it is but hey, if you're righteous, the mindset that you should have is that this mug needs to go down speedily. If you're righteous, the righteous mindset, as the title goes, the righteous mindset uh, of, is one in this place to go down. Like, because, hey, this, this, the way that we live in this rulership under the, the Hebrew Edomite, uh, the so-called Caucasian, this isn't the way that the Most High, Yahweh B'ashem Shai intended for uh, people to live, man. You know, right now. You have his special chosen people, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and every uh, other Israelite that's spread abroad in all the uh, other nations, man. You had them living as the as the tail and not the head when we are the best people in the world, you know. Along with that, everything in this world is messed up right now. This is the way that the Most High, you know, this isn't how the earth should be ran. It's all the Most High's plan, but nevertheless, you know, this isn't living. So, hey, the, the true living begins when this place goes down. Our rulership begins, righteousness begins when this place goes down. And, and, and if you're not in that mindset of wanting this thing to pop off right now, today, tomorrow, as a matter of fact. I mean, uh, uh, yesterday, it's like you, you, you're not in the right mindset, man. But continue on. This is James 4 and 4. It says, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is an enemy of the Most High. So, hey, en enmity means uh, uh, equally uh, a mutual hatred, man. So, hey, the scripture is telling you that, listen, hey, if, if you're friends with this world, it meaning if you're in, uh, in joint with this world, if you like this world, if you want this world to continue on how it is, this age, this rulership under Esau, Edom, it says you, you hate God and God hates you. You know, it says, whosoever therefore will be a friend of, of this world. What does that mean? That that That's cool with it. That's fine with it. That doesn't mind it. The Lord said, hey, listen, you're an enemy. And hey, man, that's why everything in this world we have to be against, you know, because it's not of Yahweh B'ashem Yahweh Shai. It's of the spirit of the anti Antichrist, you know, or well, the Anti-Messiah. You know, that's the vibe that this uh, world is, is, is going in. And that's being led by the man of sin. But this is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. So, hey, anything in this world, hey, this, we, we need to count it as dung. And we, not need to, and we need not to be attached to it because, hey, if, our, if we store our treasures on earth, you know, that, you know, that's as far as it's going to take us, you know. It says, uh, if any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him, right? This, this, the, this, this rulership, these age, these, these people on the earth right now, they don't care nor, uh, or, or regard the most high, nor his law, such commandments. They're totally against them. The spirit of, of antichrist or anti-messiah is, is amongst these people, man. So hey, if you are with the world, you know, and you love this world, which is ultimately on the course of the anti-messiah, the love of the father is not in you. You know, it's just for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world. Right. Everything that's going on in this world is not spiritual. It's not pleasing to the most high. Yahweh. It's not going, 
you know, as it needs to be. Everything is out of course, out of out of course. Right. It says in the world passeth away. Right. This rulership and everything that's in this earth right now, you know, all these physical things that you're looking at, these riches, all that's going to pass away. It says in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the most high abide forever. Right. So hey, if you're doing this work, that's going to transfer you over to everlasting life, man. You know, that's going to keep you safe. Everything else around you is going to be ash. This, this is going to save you. You know. This is uh, verse 18. It says, little children, it is the last time. And as you heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. And the Antichrist isn't talking about a big red dude in the middle of the earth with horns coming out his head with a pitchfork. No, it's talking about the spirit of the uh, of the anti-Messiah, man. And, and, and there's many people that's against the anointed, meaning don't want to follow the law, such commandments. That's two thirds of our people and a whole other and every other uh, heathen, man, which don't regard or know, you know, they can't. But, you know, they don't search after the most high. They just do. They just fall. They, they give into idolatry, man. You know, as the scriptures tell you, because they have no, no, uh, the scriptures tell you that the idols of the nations are idols, basically. The gods of the other nations are idols, man. But nevertheless, everything that they're doing, you know, is, is not of the most high, you know. So that spirit is, is out there, man. This is Isaiah 24 and 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languish and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. And they, the earth right now is mourning. The earth, you know, physically is not where it should be. The earth is on fire in certain places, man. It's a sickness going on. You have the people that's on the planet not uh, taking care of it how they should be. You have trash islands, you know. You have all types of things going on, man. And, and that's because you have had uh, all the wrong people, especially the Hebrew reader, might just so-called Caucasian running it, man. Continuing on, verse 5 says, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Right. The earth is, is being innocent blood being shed. You know, the blood of the shank, of the slacky of the saints. You know, all types of injustices, injustices happening. All types, man. It says, uh, because they have transgressed the laws and changed the ordinance. Right. These people don't follow the laws as commandments of the Holy Scriptures, which tell you how. And uh, it tell you exactly, it tells you how to operate the earth so that it will yield the proper, you know, the, the, the most, the most efficient, the most efficient way, man. It says, uh, and broken the everlasting covenant. And they, they, as soon as this place goes down, that's when true living happens, man. You know, we, why do we want to be in a world that promotes darkness and wickedness and, and, and everything that's not light, that's not on the most high, everything ungodly, man. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Woe means destruction. So it says uh, destruction is going to come unto those that call evil good. What's evil? You know, the scriptures tell you what's right. So everything that's opposite of what's right is evil, man. Homosexuality is evil, man. You know, not following the law, law statutes, commandments is evil. All this vibe that the so-called uh, white man is pushing out, that's all evil, man. You know? It says, and it's like it says that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Right? They they put heterosexual, uh, heterosexuality as a bad thing, man. Toxic, 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 toxic masculinity as a bad thing, man. You know, punishing your children when they do wrong as a bad thing, man. When these are all things that's good and righteous according to the holy scriptures, man. You know. It says that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right. They find the things that's in the Bible and, 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 and they flip it, man, and make it seem uh, negative, man. Or they use it to their own agenda, man, you know? Why do we want to live in a world like this, man? This isn't the way that the Most High intended for us to live. This is Amos 5 and 15 says, hate the evil and love the good. This this age of this rulership is evil. So you're supposed to hate this hate this rulership, man, and love the good. The good the good and all the, uh, the plentifulness and abundance comes in the kingdom of heaven, man. So hey, that's what we got to store our treasures up in, 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 and put our trust in is how we wash out shy so we can get to that uh, place filled with all good things. It says an established judgment in the gate. It may be that Yahweh power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Right. So, hey, man, ain't, can't nothing good come 
we, we looking forward to the good, man. It, looking forward to the good means to protest this evil that's here, this present evil. Second Andrews 4 and 26, then he then answered he me and said, the more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel for the world haste fast to pass away. Right. This 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 rulership, you know, this kingdom is 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 is, is, is swirling down the, the, uh, the toilet, man. It says and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Right, man unrighteousness and weaknesses sicknesses man mental spiritual physical all types of bad things is just in the earth right now we we look forward to that being put out and if you're not in that spirit then you're not in a, in a you're not in a stable mind a mind frame you have no uh judgment you're a degenerate if you feel like this this earth is cool how it is man no this is Acts 1 and 6, and this is, you know, the apostles and elders, they was in this spirit, you know, back after Yahweh was crucified, man. They was ready to leave and get out of that uh, scrutiny that they was in then. How much more now? Acts 1 and 6, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So, hey, we have to be in that mindset of, of our kingdom being established, not us thriving in, you know, Esau's blessing, man, you know. It's like Esau's uh, kingdom, you know, we got to be in a mindset of, of, of eagerly hastening unto the day of our Lord so he can usher in. It's like it so he can bring in our kingdom, man, which is going to be ran by the so-called by the elect, like by the elect of the most high, you know. So, hey, man, Lord, one of a quick, you know, uh, quick nugget. And it gets you uh, basically in the mindset of what we need to be in, man. To hell with America, man. We trying to get to a place better than America, you know. But Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. Call a lame lie. Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakhwadash, Wa Ba Ba Ba.